So here's the next thing you need to remember. Um, yeah, one minute. Oh yeah, um, yeah. So here's the next thing you need to remember. Do not use notes. <laughs> we are all guilty of this. Carrying little scrape of paper. We call notes to help us guide through the speech, but not anymore. Because by the end of this video, you'll be confidently speaking on the stage without using cryptic notes. So let's get going. How to come across as a natural speaker? It's not only an art, but a science too. Most people use notes while giving their presentations and speeches. These notes, let's say the skeleton around your speech is built. So you can carry them whenever you speak. But do you really think that's a good idea to lug around these things? I believe not. Imagine what the audience would think seeing you looking lost on the stage. To gain the trust of the audience and speak as a natural speaker, you need to seriously get rid of these notes. What if I told you there are three sure shot ways which can help you get rid of this paper and let you speak like a pro. Here is number one. Tell a story. This is probably the best thing to do if you don't want to forget what you have to say. I personally love being a storyteller myself. Stories connect. And if you align your speech like a story, you'll never forget your valid points are. Make every critical point a twist in the tale. For example, say you are talking about falling cells of your company. I know it's not a pleasant talk to make, but if you can make a story out of it and express ways how the cells can be boosted, like a superhero saving the life of the company, that would be interesting, right? Now here is the second thing you can try to get rid of the notes while doing presentation. Believe me, a lot of great speakers use this strategy. It's called stage movement. Essentially, break up your speech into five parts. The introduction, three key points that you have to make, and then the conclusion. If you have more than three key points, group them in threes. Begin your introduction from the front, at the center of the stage. Then as you move to your first key point, move slightly back towards your right. Use the time to add the transition. For instance, now that we know briefly what global warming is, let's look at its reasons. Did you see? That could be your transition. That way, your audience knows your introduction is done and you are moving on to your next point. As you transit from the reason to the effect of global warming, which is your second point, you can move to the middle of the stage. And then, when you are talking about how global warming can be reversed, which is your third point, you can move to the left side of the stage. And at the conclusion, move back yet into the center of the stage. So by the end of the speech, you would have moved a circle. This will take a little bit of practice. But believe me, freedom from those pesky little notes is priceless. This method ensures that all your key points are communicated and the audience will follow you perfectly as the transition in the speech are reflected in your movements. And finally, here's the third technique you can try. Give it a design. I actually have a course which talks about fundamental part of the speech. And that course will be coming up in future. Yes, it is that important. Imagine you had a little word or a shape or a design that covers key point in your speech. Speaking would be a piece of cake, right? For example, see how I designed this speech and spoke without prompting. I used the SSD design. What does that mean? Well, remember, it stands for storytelling, stage movement, and design. Easy, isn't it? You could do it too. Make a design out of your speech. 
no more little notes to carry whether it's 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes or 45 minutes these ideas work like a charm every time you go up on the stage to try it out once and let me know how it works for you and my friend if you know anything else which works for you let me know in the comment section below i'm always open for suggestions this is Nikhil. See you in the next video. Until then, keep speaking, keep expressing. World is your stage.